Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we are going to talk about how we can resolve incorrect total issue in Power BI desktop. Sometimes what happen here is when we are adding table visualization in our Power BI report, what happen here is the total is showing some inconsistent or incorrect value. Now how we can resolve this issue for our Power BI report? I am going to explain the step by step process for resolving this issue. During this short video I am going to give you solution for resolving this total issue in Power BI. So without wasting much time let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that this is one of the Power BI report. Here you can see that total number of users by group and total number of users who has completed the training by group and their completion rate is showing here into this table. Now as you can see here, here the number of completed users, here you can see that for group 1 there are 2 users and for group 2 there are 2 users. But in total it is showing 3 users. Actually the total should be 4, right? So how we can resolve this total issue? Same way, let's say for an example, it is showing the completion rate here. But I want to represent here the average completion rate of both of these two. So how can I show that? Here we are going to provide you the complete solution. So at the end of the video, you will be able to resolve this issue and you will be having the correct total over here like 4 and the correct average number of completed training. So stay tuned with me for all the DAX measure that I am going to explain here. The first thing that I am going to sh explain here is my data source. So here I have two different table as data source. One is group users. In group users I have group name, username and employee ID. Now in second table there is a training table where I have employee ID, training name and its status. So basically employee ID is the relationship in between these two table and both of my table are in many to many relationship. Now let me show you what I have already done here. So first of all I am showing total users by group. So basically I have a table group users and I want to show total users by group. So I have prepared this DAX measure over here. Let me just zoom little bit and let me show you that measure. So total users is equal to count of employee number. So basically it will show number of users available into that particular group. So at this moment group 1 and group 2 have 3 users and total users are 6. So this particular measure is showing correct total over here. Now I wanted to find out how many of users have completed that training. For that I have prepared this measure number of users completed. For that I have prepared this measure number of users completed training. So I just prepare a measure distinct count of employee ID where training status is equal to completed. So this particular measure will give me like from group 1 2 users have completed the training and from group 2 2 users have completed the training. Now at last we have the completion rate. Completion rate is equal to number of users who has completed the training divided by total number of users. So we I am showing that completion rate over here like this. So this is the formula percentage completion is equal to division of number of users completed the training divided by total users. So this is the formula and here I want to show the average of completion rate. But here it is showing the incorrect value. Now the question arises in your mind that why Power BI is showing this incorrect value. So basically it's related to filter context and row context. So in row context it is showing us the correct result but whenever we have the generalized result in a total it is showing us the incorrect result. Now how can we resolve this issue? Now I am going to show you those steps here. Now let's say for an example for number of users completed the training we have prepared this measures like distinct count of training ID where status is equal to completed. Now I need to do very simple thing over here 
basically i need the summation of these two values by group for that we just need to prepare different measure over here so let me just create one measure let me just give the name of number of users completed training now i wanted to correct this particular total it should be 2 plus 2 4 so for that i need to use a dex measure sumx now in sumx the first thing that we need to pass here is table value so just use values function inside that and just pass your group name over here so basically my group name is available over here into group users so i just need to provide group name and then by comma we need to provide the expression so basically whatever the measure that we have prepared for number of users completed the training we just need to pass that number of users completed the training <coughs> so here we already prepared this measure number of users who has completed the training which is showing the correct value by row but it is showing incorrect value by column we need to pass the same measure over here and we just need to complete this bracket as for our convenience let me just add number one just to open before hash so we will get a better idea now let me just hit enter so we have corrected this value now let me just copy this particular table and paste the same table over here and now let me just remove the last two what i'm going to do here is i am going to add the measure that we just prepared one users completed the training so here you can see that row context is correct as well as the generalized result is also correct so what I have done here is I have just used some x expression and my row is showing based on the group name. So I just passed the group name column here and then I just passed here already prepared measure. So that will correct my result perfectly over here. Now similar way we have the completion rate here and we are calculating our completion rate using this particular measure. Now I want to correct this average here. So basically I am going to use the same measure inside the average x function because I want to correct my average same way. So let's create one new measure percentage completion. I want to correct my average. So I need to use the average x function. Now I just need to pass the table. So just use the function values and inside the values just pass the group users of group name because we are showing the value by a group and then we just need to pass our expression that is our measure name that is completion we just need to select this expression and just complete the bracket and hit enter okay uh, the name is already present so let me just add one as well and now let me just add this particular measure value here inside this table let me just shrink this column little bit let me just make this column as percentage and here we are you can see that absolutely correct result here the average of this particular thing is 66.67 now we have fixed this thing right now what i want to do is i just wanted to check with some other filters like filter is working perfectly with the row context as well as the entire outcome let me explain you that thing as well so i am filtering with training 3 let's see what output we are getting here 3 3 3 2 so it should be 5 here it is it was incorrect and the average should be perfect here 66.67 100 divided by 2 so it is absolutely correct so this is how we can easily resolve the incorrect total issue in power bi if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin 
ट्विटर एंड पॉडकास्ट इफ यू विश टू रिसीव द डेली नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट ऑल माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑन योर व्हाट्सएप क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक इट विल बी रिडिरेक्टिंग यू टू दिस फॉर्म फिल द फॉर्म एंड यू विल बी रिसीविंग डेली नोटिफिकेशन ऑन योर व्हाट्सएप नंबर ऑल्सो आई हैव लॉन्च माई न्यू पॉडकास्ट चैनल क्लिक ऑन दैट लिंक यू विल बी रिडिरेक्टिंग यू टू माई पॉडकास्ट चैनल हियर यू कैन लिसन योर फेवरेट पावर प्लेटफॉर्म पॉडकास्ट ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक स्पॉटिफाई गूगल पॉडकास्ट एपल पॉडकास्ट एंड सो मेनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म सो स्टेट यून विथ मी हैव अ ग्रेट डे गुड बाय